Hey guys, as you may remember, for those of you that have been following the channel, a couple of weeks ago I asked you guys for your input on what Linux distro should I install on my main machine, my main production machine here at home, the one I spend 98% of my time in, you know. Uh, this machine has only known one distro since I've bought this machine a, a few years back. It's only ran Ubuntu's LTS release. So that's the only thing that's ever been on this machine and the Ubuntu LTS uh, it, it's solid. I mean it, it's a stable distro. I, I quite like Ubuntu and uh, as most of you guys know I really love Debian stable. You know I review a lot of Debian based distros and if I had my choice I would probably install something based on Debian stable and I would install the open box window manager on top of it because I really don't care for a lot of the modern desktop environments out there on Linux most of them feel bloated to me uh, most of them also have an unfinished kind of quality to them it's like some of these development team teams they start something and then they just never get around to you know uh, polishing the edges you know so you know I was probably strongly considering a Debian based distro on this machine I really thought about installing MX Linux uh, but the one I really really I mean I was very close to pulling the trigger on Antics As a matter of fact if you had asked me a couple of days ago what was going to go on this machine I was going to put Antics on this machine I was going to install Antics. I was going to have it base itself off of Debian Stable because you have options with Antics. You can go stable, testing, or unstable. I was going to do Antics based on Debian Stable and I was going to throw the open box window manager on it and be done. And I was like, you know what? You're really comfortable with that. You know, you're a Debian guy and, and you love the open box window manager. You've been using Debian and open box for a decade. Uh, why don't you do something different something that you're not quite as comfortable in or, or at least something you're not as familiar with so I have never lived in any of the big desktop environments ever I have never in all my years of running Linux have I ever lived in GNOME I've never lived in GNOME 3 you know the seven or eight years it's been around before that I never lived in GNOME 2 I didn't really like the GNOME 2 desktop that much although it was alright GNOME 3 uh, I've never even touched I mean other than doing these reviews on this channel you know some of these distros come installed with GNOME 3 other than that I never touched GNOME 3 don't know anything about it same thing with KDE the KDE 4 des desktop when it came out was really kinda garbage I mean it was very buggy it was just broken it, it was a hot mess so I never touched KDE either for, for uh, the whole time I've been using Linux never lived in KDE the Plasma 5 desktop although I you know I'm, I've been impressed with what the Plasma 5 desktop has been doing other than again checking out things in virtual machines you know on, on my own time and of course on this channel I don't really keep up with KDE development either and those are really the two big desktop environments out there in Linux is you're really for the most part you're using GNOME or you're using KDE I know there's other desktops out there but they're the big boys and I thought you know what you need to live in one at least for a little while you need to keep up with development on one of the big desktop environments so I told you guys on the new year I would wipe out Ubuntu LTS on this machine and install something else. I asked you guys for input, and you guys were great, by the way. You guys gave me a, a lot of feedback, a lot of good input. And uh, some of you actually recommended the distro I have decided to go with. Uh, I'm actually living in it right now. This is a virtual machine, but the distro I've decided to install. Yep, Manjaro, their KDE edition on the new year well on or about the new year within a week or two I'm going to wipe out this machine this instance of Ubuntu LTS and I'm going to install Manjaro the KDE edition you know and live in it uh, at least a year you know I'm not a, much of a distro hopper when I install something on a machine that's it you know I rarely change so 
I installed Manjaro. I'm going to be living in Manjaro for a while. I don't plan on, you know, unless there's some kind of major breakage or something. Manjaro is it for this machine for a while. So at least for the next year or two, I'm going to be following closely what goes on with Manjaro because I'm going to be living in Manjaro. And I'm going to make myself, at least for a little while, live in KDE and follow KDE development, which I think is important. I think you guys would benefit, uh, I think it'd benefit the channel. And to be honest, I'm a little interested in, in what's going on with the development of the Plasma desktop. Uh, I've lived in this virtual machine here. I've had this virtual machine going for about three months now, this installation of Manjaro KDE. It's been rock solid. I've you know, kept the system up to date. I've had no breakages, not even minor breakages. I've had no problems with this installation of Manjaro KDE at all. Playing around with the KDE desktop environment for these past couple of months, KDE is easily the most configurable desktop environment there is. You can make KDE into whatever you want. You can make it mimic Windows. You can faithfully make it mimic Mac in a lot of ways. With you know, I can move the panel to the top, put a global menu, put some kind of dock at the bottom, and you would think it was Mac OS practically. Uh, you can make it mimic Unity. You know, you can put the the panel at the side, and you know, have your uh, Plasma launcher uh, dashboard. Uh, you can make KDE actually. I'm an open box guy. There's options to do launch your applications from a right click menu, very similar to open box. And you know, the speed is not quite there. Open box is very fast, KDE is a little slower. And obviously, you won't have you know functionality like pipe menus in open box, but other than that, you can. You know, you can mimic open box a little bit. You can you can make KDE into whatever you want it to be. So, in about a week, maybe two weeks at the most, I'm going to wipe this machine out, and I might also wipe out the laptop that I use the most. And I'm going to install Manjaro KDE as my primary desktop distribution. So, I want to thank you guys for all your input. Uh, for the video that I'd made previously asking for input. You guys were great. You guys uh, gave me a lot to think on. In the end though, uh, like, I, like I said, I really wanted to go in a direction I'm not quite as comfortable in. Living in a rolling release on my main production machine is not something I ever would have done, but you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Living in KDE the same way, not something I ever would have done before, but I'm just gonna go with it. You know, again, you know, I'm, you know, doing Debian stable for so long, you know, living in things like OpenBox for so long, or tiling window managers like Xmonad, uh, you know, let's do something different, you know, let, let's branch out a little bit. So, thanks guys, peace.